Right, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the tensioner ropes on the Vario roof on the SLK 230. So this is a 2002 model and they are the tiny tensioner ropes that assist the flaps for when the roof's up and down. So they are a small rope, they look like this. Tensioner, um, they're a steel rope with a nylon uh, surround, a wrapping around them. So that assists smooth transition when it's going over the rollers. So that there, from Mercedes-Benz, that little tiny rope there, is $150. So it's not cheap and it did have to come from Germany. That's the part number there. So um, I've never fitted one before. So for starters, let's pull the roof half back and um, we'll do it. it. Doesn't look like it's too hard a job. As you can see, this is the rope here. So it connects down here, goes around this roller through here, and connects in behind here. So the first thing you have to do is take these three off here to get this cover off. Now you will have to note that as soon as you turn the ignition off, the roof goes down. So you have to do this fairly quick, um, or at least have tools ready, because the ignition has to stay on the whole time. So the one that you need is the T25mm. Righto, so once this is off, you can take this off here. Just be careful, the flap that goes around the front here, just be careful, that hooks down into, into the base of there. So just put that aside. Got our screws here. And then all we have to do now is take this one off here. And that feeds down and around through there. that screw off. So we'll get our part. So here's, our, here's our new one. Just make sure that it goes back on the exact same way. So it goes through there. Goes through there. Okay, so you can, as you can see, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see, but the nylon has actually come off just here. So it was actually starting to get worn, start to see down to the rope. Right, oh, so that goes back in through there goes back up through there then goes through here just making sure that everything fits nice and smooth and then this goes back we uh, put this back on just make sure that that sits neatly in there. So that's how it's done. Um, 
obviously make sure you have everything ready because the ignition has to be left on for the whole for the whole time uh, so that you keep the roof just up enough so that you can access the flap um, but that's one side done I'll go and uh, do the other side now now just be careful when you're putting the screw back in the new rope there is tension being a tensioner rope so you just have to make sure that you don't cross thread the screw into the new rope into the flap all right let's go and do the other one Right, so all that's left to do is just to test the mechanism, make sure that the flaps are working perfectly, make sure the roof operates correctly. As we can see, it's a good seal through there. Good seal through there. The only warnings, don't cross thread as you're going into the new ones but um, it's not a cheap exercise but 
as you can see. As you can see on the old one. Now, as with any part that you take off your SLK and that isn't completely broken, always keep them. Because if one does break, you can at least have these as spares.